Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Um, still a new year, but I am in the studio today. What I'm doing for part of my degree is I have to do some product shots. So, if you have had a look at my website, which is govclarphoto.com, um. You will have seen that I do like doing products and studio based stuff, so something I'm quite comfortable with. But because I was at the college previously um, and I did do a product um, assignment back then, I've been told I have to do better. So I'm really testing myself this time around. I'm going to just quickly show you what I've got set up and what I'm trying to achieve today. So let's have a quick look around the studio. Okay, first of all, I've got my laptop set up here. Um, I'm tethered into Lightroom. As you can see, I've got my camera set up with my tether tools cable. Don't forget, always use that little clip that comes with it. It's a lifesaver, especially when you're shooting. Um, we're using, for lighting, we've got the Pocket Wizard Plus 3s. Um, and we're using the Boeing's Geminis. I've um, got one here, and I've got one just here as well um, I've kind of done an initial setup of what I want from this shoot but I'm just finessing as I'm going along so what I'm basically doing today is as you can see I've got some cutlery here on a piece of black foam board um, this is black chrome cutlery um, so that's going to be something really really difficult to uh, photograph so essentially what I'm looking to achieve is a really clean um, Carl Taylor-esque type photograph. Um, that's a style that I'm really, really into. I like how he works. It's very similar to my mindset when I'm thinking about images as well. Um, obviously I think I'm a little bit influenced by him because it's a photographer I look up to a lot. Um, just in the skills and the techniques and just the way that he works. Very, very professional and clean and I like clean and professional looking things. So, first important part is making sure you've got your fluids. So, a cup of coffee, because it is the morning right now, and water, nice cold water. And the other most important part, the music. You can never work in the studio in silence. I have to have a little bit of music on. So, got a little bit of music on in the background. I'm going to crack on with what I'm trying to do, and fingers crossed, I'll be able to come back to you in a bit and show you what we're looking at. Right guys, not having a good time of it. So as you can see, my setup's changed a little bit from what it was before. Just quickly show you what we're doing. So because we're playing with Chrome, um, sorry, let me just sort that out for you really quickly. Right, because we're playing with chrome cutlery here and um, there's a lot of diffusion going on because you can't have a really hard light hitting it so I've got two diffusion sheets there I've got one at the back because I'm using the softer light source plus I have a gel as well bringing in a bit of an orange tone to the back just to give a bit more depth to the image oh, but I've just had to run out and um, ran to Sainsbury's down the road um, there are other supermarket retailers that you can go to, but I've had to buy myself some gloves, a microfiber cloth, and uh, I'm using Mr. Sheen, but of course there are other brands too that you can use. Um, an all surface smear free cleaner and duster, um, purely because I'm noticing now when I'm going into my images I'm seeing a lot of dust on there. So I need to give it all a clean down, start again, and use some gloves when I'm handling the cutlery. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to try to set up a little time lapse going on, and I'm going to just see how I work along now, and just see what I come up with, because at the minute I'm not very happy, and I'm a little bit out of breath because I ran there and ran back. So I've left all my camera and everything set up in the studio, and I don't trust the people here. So <laughs> silly me, but hey, just didn't want to break down and set up again. So let's see what we're going to get from 
the next set of images we're starting to move into a better position now with the way I'm diffusing the light and everything starting to get the sort of um, edge lighting that I want over the shapes so it's just a refining it's going to keep going keep going still got another couple of hours left I'm going to keep going to see what happens next catch you in a few minutes right okay so we've actually got to a point where I think that I'm happy I'm happy with the results there's a little bit of Photoshop work that needs to be done because I couldn't clean up the cutlery as best as possible but as you can see again we have changed the way we're set up again so what I'm going to do I'm going to walk you through exactly what I'm looking at so let's just turn camera here right you can't see what I'm looking at here so I'll drop that all the way down something better and just bear with me two minutes right so this is basically what I'm looking at if I turn the info off so you've got a better view of the picture um, sorry I like to keep my grid lines on but that is basically what I am framed up as so I'm framed up there I've kept this light here as it is um, in all fairness it's not doing a fat lot it's just bringing in a tiny little bit of rim light into it um, and then here as you can see I've still got my gloves on because I don't want to in case I need to touch them there's two sheets of diffusion paper here and then I did have the grid on originally on the Boeing's light on the reflector um, it was a small narrow grid but um, I just took it off I felt like I needed to spread the light out a little bit more just to get those um, reflection lines even all the way across and it did work so then that lights hitting the diffusion paper and it's bringing a really really soft light onto the cutlery and um, I did have a smaller spoon in there but I've taken it away but that is basically that and then afterwards I've just on here basically this is the image that I've got so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that again and I've just realised I've left that shutter speed ridiculously high um, because I've left it high it's letting some of the, the yellow ambient light um, which doesn't look too bad but basically this is where I'm probably going to look I'm going to try and just change up a little bit of the contrast in there and you can see here because I've got the light turned on above it's catching that reflection so I think this is my last the final image I'm going to be using um, yeah really really difficult lighting anything reflective let alone like pure chrome so the tip is a lot of diffusion soften the light as much as you can and think about the angle from which you're shooting it from as well and um, because I'm using a black chrome on a, a matte black um, board um, I've kind of figured out if I shoot from behind I can get a really nice rim effect onto it with a nice catch light across the actual arm of the cutlery itself so the arm of the fork and the knife and the spoon and that looks really really good it's a really nice soft smooth light doesn't look harsh um, it's enough to separate it give me a bit of shadow but not too much um, and this for me it, it's come out as a really nice product shot um, there's a bit of cleaning up to do because it needs to be the highest quality possible but it's really it's really come out well um, next I've got a black watch with a reflective face and a reflective strap um, so I'm going to be having a go at that also next so today is a really long day in the studio for me um, you know 9 till 4.30 just doing two images but as you do more and more complex style photographs you'll find that you're spending a lot more time setting up and finding the lighting and everything like that so if you are starting game photography don't be put off by these amazing images that you see from professional photographers who have got the resources to do it all day long and get every last little bit of detail and equipment and everything they need um, so I'm going to leave you with this I'm going to show you this now my finished image 
Um, hopefully you like it. Any comments um, you want to subscribe, want to follow, click on the bell as well so you get notified when a new video comes up. Um, so you can subscribe just down the bottom here, um, in the bottom corner. And also got govclarphoto.com where you can contact me directly as well um, for anything that you need. And that's taken a good solid three hours for me to get there. So patience is key here. Real, real patience is needed. On that note, I'm going to leave you with that little tip about photographing chrome items. And see ya. Damn. Uh. Yeah.